I think he's a brilliant executive. I think he's a, he's a courageous man. I think he goes into new fields and he makes it all work. I think he's, um, he doesn't like to share any new developments. He tries to say that he's responsible for as well as the talent working for him. And I think he made a great success out of MCA. And he, his title was president, wasn't it? He was the president. For many years. Well, I don't know. He's president until they sold the show, until they sold the company. He started in 19, I think Jules made him president in 1947 or something like that. Until they sold the company to Matsubishi is something like that, in 80 something. I don't know the exact dates. How closely did uh, Lou Wasserman supervise the work that you were doing? I was, a, I, was a, I was executive vice president in charge of all departments. Did he interfere at all? Huh? Did he interfere with anything that you were doing? No, I cleared it. We cleared, we talked everything over together. We, we ran the company together for a number of years. No, he was involved in daily, daily stuff. If you, television and motion pictures, one of the weaknesses is collecting commission. Without commission, you don't have the locks that keep the fire going. He attended those meetings. Some of the agents were a little careless about collecting commissions. You don't make friends when you collect commission. And he gave them a, a lecture. Oh, they'd go out and they'd collect the commission. And, but he was involved in everything because he had a great um, confidence in Tamara. When Jules uh, learned about buying the, the Cadillac from Paramount, and he gave it to, Jew, to Lou and he told him, you can buy the Paramount Cadillac because Balaban needs money. Lou went in there and did a fabulous job of negotiating to buy the Cadillac. And uh, he could do anything. In, in that area, he was a great, a great agent.